But what I go, I'm gonna think a typical Jamaican and say something like, say, okay, I'll just go buy it next door then for a little bit cheaper for him to come down on the price because I just feel like, sir, what are you doing? It's coronavirus times. <laughs> channel so just coming in from off of the road it is currently 8 45 crazy i let jody convince me no to go to the avenue with her because <clears throat> her baby shot her gender reveal is coming up and she felt like she had nothing to wear which i'm pretty sure she had to have had something in that house to wear but you know you know women so i went with her and it ended up costing me $47. But it's a very cute outfit. I can't even try it on right now because honestly, I'm too tired. Anyways, they just dropped me off. I also went by um, <clears throat> the store next to my job where I bought this mirror to see if they had a second one. Because I feel like I want to put it on the wall here. But it's going to need like two. Anyways, the lady said that they had, but it was downstairs and she couldn't go for it at the moment. So I told her that I'd just come back because I work right next door. So whichever day I'm there, I could just go back and purchase it. She said tomorrow, but I don't think I'll be going down there tomorrow, honestly. That's too much energy. Anyways, the set that I bought is a three-piece set. So it has these pants that are super cute. The legs are wide and it's so nice. I mean, when I put it on, I'm gonna have to show y'all. But it's very, very cute. And then, <clears throat> it has a nice little crop top that I feel like I'm gonna end up wearing without a bra. And then it has this, what do you call this? Like this um, little blazer type jacket um, situation. I got it in like this sage olive green color because I'm the only one who knows the gender of the baby and I will not. Wear a color that people are going to be speculating. No, I'll wear something completely different from what the gender could be. So, I got this color. Costed me $47. It's all good in the hood. I love my god baby. Okay? I needed to get a gift um, bag, but that did not end up happening because I spent so long doing all of that. I, I'm not going to take this hair off tonight. I think I'm going to end up sleeping in it. So, I need to tie it up. <coughs> I also need to find this little thing that I have that I use on my edges. I haven't been able to find it like this morning I was looking for it and I just couldn't find it. And I know that I left it up here. It's just not here right now. So at this point, I don't really even know. <clears throat> what? Me changing in this mirror and y'all can see my butt and everything. Wow. So I'm yet. <clears throat> We went down there and just bought the outfit. Listen, I had to be cussing Joe out just now and telling her that, listen, I'm not going to be, do not call me out of my house anymore. I'm not going anywhere with you. I think we all have that one friend. Like, it's safe to say that we all have that one friend who, whenever you go to shop, they will go in every single store and walk through every aisle. That is Jody. Jody is that one friend. She will walk through every aisle and end up leaving the store and not buying anything at all. Just casually looking, actively looking all the time. I don't know what it is. Anyways, tonight I told her, <laughs> you better soak this up because I will not be doing this with you again. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find myself doing it again at some point because she's currently growing my godchild. But I was very shocked. I'm just like, wow, like who does this? Like how? Is it possible that someone does this? I can't. This is why I'm an avid online shopper. Because it's so much easier. I could lay in the comforts of my bed where I don't have to walk for two hours or stand for two hours or just do all that for two hours. I could online shop in my bed for two hours and it comes directly to my door. I don't have to struggle with any heavy bags in a taxi or whatever. I mean, obviously, we didn't take a taxi because her husband um, um, came back for us. So we didn't have to take a taxi. But I can't be bothered to do all of that. I'm really not cut out for all that. And I knew this a long time ago because my sister is like her too. My sister loves the shopping. She could go for hours shopping. Me, on the other hand, I'll buy the first thing that I see. 
lately I've been trying to like stay away from that a little bit because I will just buy something just to be done with it and get out of there as opposed to something that I like and I end up coming home and not exactly liking what I got so I've tried staying away from that lately but honestly like I can't do it I can't just be walking up and down aimlessly just looking just to look no I have a plan I know what I have in mind to go and buy and when I go there I look for that buy that go home that's it I don't get carried away like that no if it's either one store or like maybe two store stops but after that it's a wrap I'm going home I can't anyways <clears throat> I wanted to pop in say hi start the vlog you know but right now I'm going to shower and lay down because my legs are tired and I have to be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning for work still a good time because it's 8 51 right now if I was working my other job now would have been the time like maybe like 20 minutes ago would have been the time that I got home so um but I'm I'm tired nonetheless and I need to just lay down for a little bit hi guys welcome back to my channel so it's currently five minutes to 6 a.m. and I'm trying to get ready for work yesterday my friend saw my scrubs in my insta stories and she's just like why don't you steam your scrubs and i'm like why they're gonna get crushed anyways it's no point oh the truth is i'm really just lazy which they are gonna get crushed anyways but I'm really just lazy so i'm trying to get ready today is saturday morning but, um yeah i really love this scrubs bottom it's in a small but it fits me so much better and i really like that it's tight around my waist well it's not tight where it feels like it's killing me it just fits nicely and i like that gotta get ready to go i feel like every morning when i'm getting ready i'm reminded that i need a fan because the other one stopped working and it's a little hot in here in the mornings who knows um today's gonna be a hot day too so I need to wear my jeans jacket. Um, yesterday when I was at the store, I was really looking at some furniture. And I saw a few pieces that I like, but the price that Mears was selling it for, I just felt like was a highway robbery. And I wanted to get a chest and I would put it on this wall here, like right in the corner here, to put the rest of my stuff in and then I wouldn't bother with the closet system because honestly, a little big. I don't really know yet because when I'm thinking about it now, the closet system is so much cheaper and, mm, oh, the other day when I was, I was watching a video and the girl was saying that, oh, Ikea called me and said that they're five minutes away and I'm just like, wait, so when they're, when they're delivering your stuff, you have to be there? Apparently you do. And so now I'm just like, okay, well, if I'm going to buy the thing, I'll have to schedule it to be delivered on a day where I'm definitely going to be home. So I need to figure that out. The closet system that I would buy is like $100. I was looking for a smaller one the other day, but after I found it and I tried like checking out, that one was not available for a delivery, which really sucks because that one would have been perfect in the spot. What? That one would have been perfect in the... What is wrong with this app? corner there besides the bed and I can still like move the bed over a little bit but right now I'm not really sure I'm trying to really get a knack for the space that I have what was that word I don't know I'm trying to figure out the space that I have and like see what I can put here for it to not look crowded but really look together I feel like another chest would be nice because that would hold all my clothes and Whatever is left to be hung, I could just put them in the little closet here, which isn't a bad idea. Chances are maybe I'll end up doing that. But the price that Mims is trying to sell it to me for, I'm just like, bro. I think what I'm going to do is go back and be a typical Jamaican and say something like, yeah, okay, I'll just go next door and buy it. It's so cute though. This one here I was looking at. I have a video too. 
he said this one was three something i think that one was 400 that one is a little bit taller but it's so nice i'm not gonna lie and i think it would go nicely with this one that i already have in here i don't know so i feel like i might go back and buy one of those mm. just to put it over there and that be it so i have two chests because not that i would love the dresser because that would have been perfect but a dresser is heavy and it's big and a chest would take up like less space so leaning more towards a chest i don't know but when i go i'm gonna say okay i'll just go buy it next door then for a little bit cheaper for him to come down on the price because i just feel like sir what are you doing it's coronavirus times <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm pretty much ready. I need to find the jacket. Let me check the weather. I really have to check the weather every morning before I leave so I see what I'm working with. But um, yeah, I'm not really tired even though this morning I woke up at 2 a.m. because people are just loud. Sometime after 2 and when I went back to sleep was like after 3. So I feel like I didn't really sleep for long. But I'm still good. Every time I get more than like three hours of sleep four or five every time i get more than two hours of sleep i keep remembering that morning when i went to the party and i came home and went to i came home at three o'clock and i had to get up at five o'clock and i was still good to go to work so it's a blessing anything over two hours is a blessing so i'm um, yeah i'm gonna just get myself together right now to leave so thank you guys for watching this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one